I can't believe they have these here sitting. What's going on guys? Welcome back to episode 38 of going from $100 all the way up to $100,000. Now this week's video was actually recorded last week so the mystery box hasn't really come in yet so that's why I'm recording this now in advance. So our new tally is going to update at the end of this episode with the mystery box. And yeah with that being said our current balance for this episode is $12,607 with three cents we haven't dipped below that ten thousand dollar mark in a good amount of episodes now so that's amazing love to see that hopefully we can hit that twenty thousand real soon but a lot of our inventory did sell this episode but we'll go over that at the end of the episode and yeah before we hit up some malls don't forget to subscribe and turn on those post notifications it helps me out so much and yeah with that being said let's go hit up some malls right now okay we're switching it up we're going to jd sports first and we see they have some of the military forts here, but but they're not out yet. They're actually available tomorrow. So we're just going to fast forward to tomorrow. And, you know, we did go in line. We stood there and they only had like seven pairs or something. So let's just move over to champs. As you can see, they have some of these Air Max Pluses on sale. They don't have as good resale value as the other ones we got. They also have these Air Max 97s for sale and these cool pink Air Forces. These Jordans here. Moving to Foot Locker, they have these denim Jordan 1 Lows. As well as almost all of the Uno collabs. Just missing the red ones. They have these pretty cool mids here in the green and then this pink colorway. Moving over to Champs, they have these weird Prestos as you can see here. It has like a garbage bag on the heel or something. As well as these lows that we saw before. Okay, we are back and you know what? Not the greatest start to the episode. We found two shoes that we picked up that you saw. First off is a 7Y of these Jordan 1 Mid Sonics as you can see here. In my opinion, these are super underrated. I love this colorway. I love the colorway on them. Let me know what you guys think. Would you rock these even though they're mids? And so yeah, what do you guys think of this pair right here? We picked up two pairs of these, a size 6.5Y and a 7Y for $115.50. Then we got a 6Y in these Jordan 1 Lows, the washed denim colorway. Another super underrated colorway right now. I really, I personally really love the colorway on this. The blue on this, I don't know, in my opinion, just it hits different. Comment down below, what do you guys think about these? Not 100% sure if they release these in men's sizes because I've only seen grade school at stores. And yeah, crazy shoe rate. We picked up a size 6Y for $105. And then I don't have them in hand because they sold like literally instantly. But I have some quick video right here. They're the Jordan 1 Low Bulls colorway. You saw them at JD Sports. We picked them up there. We got two sizes, a 9.5 and, and a 10.5. And yeah, we picked those ones up. Not much to say. Unfortunately, I don't have them in hand anymore. I wish I did. But at least I had this video of them. And yeah, that's all we picked up today. Unfortunately just three things that we're adding to our inventory now but it's better than nothing i guess plus they're jordan ones jordan ones they sell really easily so hopefully next time we go we can find something to bring this episode back to life because right now those two shoes they're not gonna cut it so let's just go to the stores now again we're gonna start at jd sports and not gonna lie they got a bunch of bricks here just sitting in a shelf this is what they have on display really nothing crazy that catches my eye bunch of forces and a bunch of brick jordans let me know did i miss something here is there anything good in my opinion all bricks let's go over to champs and again they have nothing but some bricks here as you can see jordans that we've been seeing for the past who knows how many episodes in a row for kids they got a bunch of these denim ones here and the 11 lows moving to Foot Locker they got some of these Gore-Tex Air Force One highs and some like Valentine Day basketball shoes nothing crazy then I haven't seen these Jordan 1 mids in a hot minute they had two size 13 so we picked them up moving over to the other champs location and again nothing but bricks Okay, we're back and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little worried for this episode because all we found 
were these Jordan 1 mids, these like shadow colorway with like the red Air Jordan logo. But they're size 13. We got two pairs of them. Yeah, really not much to say. It's a clean colorway, a big size. It should sell relatively fast for us. I'm not 100% sure about that though, but hopefully these move fast because we do have two pairs of them. And yeah, unfortunately, that's all we picked up. Now, hopefully the last time we go to the store today, we can find some good stuff to bring this episode back because right now, we've really only found like, not gonna lie, like some, some like bricks low key because they don't sell for anything crazy. So we just need to pray that next time we go, we find some really good stuff. Okay, and again, we're starting at JD Sports and looks like they still have a bunch of these bricks laying around. They got these 11s here on display and the sixes. Really don't know what's going on. They bunch of cool forces and basketball shoes for grade school. Moving over to champs, let's pray they have some restocks and at first it's not looking good at all. The same bricks we've been seeing day in and day out that we've been coming here. But it looks like it got the mulberries and these other mids out. That's good to see. These really pink Air Max 90s, really cool. The Vapor Max is on sale for $9.99. And these Reeboks are so cool. The Pump It, you can actually pump up that basketball. It was pretty cool. And then guys, back in the day, these Ultra Boosts, I already know would have went for a lot of money, especially that orange creamsicle pair. Got some NMDs on sale. And these brand new Ultra Boosts on sale for $1.99. Moving over, they still have these Air Max 97s on sale. And then we found some Panda Dunks and these new toothpaste green Jordan 1 mids. Jordan 1 lows, there are women's sizes, and we found some infrareds in grade school sizes, as well as for the women, they have these Vapor Maxes on sale. Moving over to Foot Locker, they got some red Cardinal, only a four Y sitting, and then I'm just gonna let this video play, but a bunch of bricks. But they also had these Brotherhoods in a size 14 in a glass case sitting. Then some Vapor Maxes as well as these Air Forces for $9.99. Moving over to the other Champs location and it looks like they just got some new bricks in. Unfortunately, nothing new here. <sighs> okay, and obviously the last day we had to find a bunch of crazy stuff. As you saw in those videos, we found so much crazy heat that completely turned this video around from just like honestly a really bad video that we found pretty much nothing to a really good video that we're gonna make a lot of profit on. Starting with these, I don't know if you guys really know what these are, but there's some Air Force Ones. In particular, the bread colorway. Not gonna lie, I've never seen this colorway before, but it's these ones here, and as you saw in the video, the only reason I picked these up is because they were $9.99. And I know for a fact that I can get more than a hundred bucks out of these. So pick these ones up a size nine. It was their last size, unfortunately, because if they had more of these for that price, I would have picked up every single size. A crazy find in my opinion, but it's not the best pickup we got, which is crazy to say because this was a really good pickup. And then next up, we got some Jordan 1 Lowe's in a size 10 women's, as you can see. And they are this colorway. The Jordan 1 Low Game Royal Blue Void colorway. I got the biggest size that they had, which was the 10 women's. Usually for Jordan 1's, when they're women's sizes like this, I tend to go for the bigger sizes because as you know, bigger sizes for the women's can fit some men's sizes. So I believe this would be like an eight and a half men's, which, you know, it's a good size. Probably one of the more profitable sizes when you get shoes like this. And honestly, it's a clean Jordan 1, really not much to say about it. Just a little bit of a twist on the Game Royal Jordan 1 lows, and yeah, we picked these ones up. And yet again, these aren't even the craziest things we picked up today. And then moving on to the second last pickup we got, these Jordan 4. You got grade school sizes, two size 7 Ys and a 6 Y, and they are the brand new Jordan 4 infrareds, as you can see right here. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I hate this shoe. It's mad ugly. The only reason it has 
some resale whatsoever is because of the crazy Jordan 4 hype that's going on right now. And yeah, my boy Sneaker Invest said it the best. These would 100% be an outlet shoe if it wasn't for this crazy Jordan 4 hype going on right now. Plus, not gonna lie, just looking at this, the quality control on this was trash. Sheesh, like there should be a review up right now. It'll be up here somewhere. Go watch that after this so you can see an in-depth review of this. But yeah, three pairs of these, a size 6Y and two 7Ys. And then finally, to the best pickups of the day, some Nike Dunk Lows, but not any ordinary Nike Dunk Lows. The most overused, overworn, completely overhyped Nike Dunk Lows. The Nike Dunk Low Pandas, in my opinion, I liked it when they first came out. Now that everyone's wearing these, they're like the new Air Force Ones. They're like a basic bitch shoe. I ain't liking them at all. I could have grabbed my size easily. I could have grabbed the personal for myself, but I'm not a big fan of it like that, you know? Too many people are wearing them and they're just overhyped right now. But the profit margin on these are crazy. We got a size 13 and 12, arguably the best sizes that you could get. You guys have to let me know if you could get these for retail. Are you keeping them for personal or are you reselling them? I need to know in the comments below. Let me know. Are you keeping them for a personal or are you selling them? Because 10 times out of 10, I am selling these. I'm not keeping a personal of these. But you guys have to let me know what you guys think about these. And yeah, crazy pickups today. Those dunks saved the episode by themselves. And yeah, like I said in the beginning, we had a lot of stuff that sold this episode. Let's go through everything that sold, starting with the Jordan 6 UNCs in a size 12, the Jordan 11 Jubilees in a size 10, the Jordan 1 Low Black white and gray in a size 10 the jordan one low bulls in a size nine and a half and a size ten and a half the last pair of the jordan one low triple white humbled leather colorway in a size ten and a half one of the jordan one mid mulberries in a size nine women's the nike dunk low two-toned gray in a size five and a half grade school and then finally we sold one of the pair of the new balance 327 dark summer jade in a size six and a half <laughs> and yeah, crazy stuff that we sold this episode, but we also bought a lot of stuff which increased our inventory by a good amount. I'm not gonna go over what we had, what we bought from the mystery box, because like I said, it hasn't arrived yet. So I recorded this one in advance. So starting with the Nike Dunk Low Pandas in a size 13 and 12, the Jordan 4 Infrareds in a size 6Y and two size 7Ys. A size 9 in the Air Force 1 Low Bread colorway. A size 10 Women's in the Jordan 1 Low Game Royal Blue Void colorway. A size 6 Y in the Jordan 1 Low Washed Denim colorway. A size 6.5 Y and 7 Y in the Jordan 1 Mid Sonics colorway. A size 8.5 and 11.5 and in the Air Max Plus Dark Smoke Gray colorway. A size 13 in the Nike Prestos triple white colorway a size 10 women's in the jordan one mid light murberry colorway a size 10 and a half 10 and 13 under armor curry flow 9 sesame street oscar colorway a size six and a half women's in the jordan one low football gray aluminum colorway a size 10 and a half in the jordan one low reverse bread colorway a size 10 in the jordan 3 red cardinal colorway a size 13 and 11 in the jordan 12 playoff colorway a size 13 in the jordan 9 boot black gum colorway a size 12 in the Jordan 5 Racer Blue colorway. A size 11 in the Jordan 3 NYX colorway. A size 10.5 in the Jordan 6 Electric Green colorway. A size 9 in the Jordan 11 Cool Gray colorway. A size 7.5 in the Jordan 1 High NYC to Paris colorway. A size 9.5 in the Jordan 11 Harris Knight Maroon colorway, a size 11 in the Air Force One Space Jam colorway, a size 7.5 in the Nike Air Vapor Max 2020 Flyknit Black Dark Gray colorway, a size 6 women in the New Balance 327 Dark Violet Summer Jade colorway, a size 7Y and 6Y in the Dunk Low Pink and White colorway, a size 10 and 10 and a half in the Nike Dunk Low Next Nature colorway. A size 7Y in the Nike Dunk Low Crater Blue and Black colorway. A size 6 and a half women's in the Nike Dunk High Pink Prime colorway. A size 6Y and 6 and a half Y in the Nike Dunk High 
midnight purple navy colorway and finally the jordan one high diors in a size nine and a half and yeah, crazy episode today. The ending saved us so much. I wouldn't be surprised if next episode, a lot of that stuff is gone. But yeah, I guess you just have to wait till then. Thank you guys for watching to the end of the video. If you haven't yet, leave a like on this video, comment down below and give me a subscribe and turn on those post notifications. And yeah, thank you guys for watching to the end of the video. And let's just roll our brand new tally right now.